Good evening, friends. My name is Atik Rohana, an AWS Certified DevOps Engineer. And today I'm going to show you how you can install PHP 8.1 with Nginx in Ubuntu. So for this tutorial, I'm going to use DigitalOcean. Uh, I have $300 credits in DigitalOcean. And if you wanted to know how to get this credit, a link will be given in the video description. So you can use that to use those $200 credits. So uh, let's get started. First, I'm going to create a droplet in DigitalOcean. So like in the create button, click on droplets. We can create many more things. So I'm just going to create droplets. Then uh, I'm going to choose the region and the region should be near by me, Bangalore, India. So that's why I mean. And always for Ubuntu, I think I'm going to choose the 2004 LBS. All other things keep as default, and then I'm going to choose the password. So I'm going to the password manager, which I the password. So uh, we also need to do some other things as well. I have written a blog about it, so you can just uh, read the blog and copy the comments from here. This password manager, I'm just going to copy it, paste it here, and then create the project. Okay, this will take around uh, two to three minutes. So I'm going to pause the video and come back when it's time. Okay, let me refresh the screen. So it should be ready now. And I uh, will. And it is ready. And this is That's ready. Now I'm going to connect to that server using the console. So let's connect to the console. Once the console is ready, uh, I need to run those commands. So the console is ready now. So first thing is adding this. PPA record. So for PHP 8.1, we are going to use this on res PHP. That's your course. I'm just going to add that. So that's being added here. The next step is update the equity packages. Then I'm going to install PHP 8.1. This is actually installing PHP 8.1, 8.1 FPM, and the stream, MySQL. XML and C. If you need some more extensions, we can just use those. So I'm just going to reset my screen and then run it. That part is done. The next part is optional. You can either choose this to edit the PHP field config file. I'm not going to do that. The next step five is install the engineers. So let's install it. And then I'm going to uh, create a virtual host for Nginx. So just I'm going to use Nano for a long time. I haven't used actually Nano, but let's try to use Nano. So here, what we are going to do is we are listening for tape zero, and then I'm giving the server name fpm.articular.xyz. This is the my project code. 
And here we are specifying that the uh, PHP HTML file will be available. So this is simple. This will be copy that. And then I'm going to paste it here. Control X. And I'm going to save it. Now I'm going to um, get a symbolic link. So the symbolic link is article and then uh, this is sites enable. Okay. Let's verify the configuration. I think there is a mistake here. I'm going to fix it. Actually, this is uh, index. I'm going to update my blog as well. So now let's try to run the test file. All okay. Now we start system. CTL, we start in the next, that's been done. Let's try to uh, check the IP address here. We're going to create a subdomain. So the subdomain will be like FPM with the IP address. And then no proxy. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to create a folder in the CD. Where that and a B. Uh, let's go to our article and let's say that our project code is for www -artic. If you want to change it, you can just change this name, then your folder will be different. But as I have defined ethics, so I need to create a folder here, and I'm going to uh, go there and uh, create a file info.php. So that is simple, php, php info. The file has been edited. Now let's see if we can actually view the file. So if we run dot dot xyz slash info dot php. The site cannot be reached. Okay, uh, what could be the reason? But we haven't actually done this as well, so let's try to get the tool. Okay, let's try to install SSL for us now, so it's redirecting to HTML. So that's pretty simple. Let's copy this command and run it here. We're going to install Startbot for doing the installation part. Then we're going to install Startbot Classic. Okay, then we do start what we do next. Mm 
I'm going to give my email address. Yes, I agree to the terms and conditions. Yes. That's actually done. Now let's try to refresh this page. Yeah, there it is. So we have PHP version 8.1.6. We have all those settings and that's, that's it. So uh, what we have done here, we have created an Ubuntu 20 server. We have installed uh, PHP 8.1, we have installed Linkinex, we have installed SSL using that and then that's what we have set up everything. So that's it for today. I hope this will help you to get started with PHP 821 and Nginx, and that is quite a very popular combination. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, and I'm going to create new videos every day. Thank you, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.